Here's a live look now at the United Center in Chicago, where the Democratic National Convention is set to officially get underway in the next hour. The convention comes amid a very tight presidential race. So look at this. A new CBS News poll finds Vice President Kamala Harris three points ahead of former President Trump, but in a statistical dead heat in seven key battleground states. Democrats hope this convention will help maintain a surge in support for Harris. Tonight, live on WUSA 9, President Biden will deliver the keynote speech. The rest of the week will focus on Vice President Harris and the future. Skylar Henry brings us up to speed from Chicago. Organizers of the Democratic National Convention laid out what voters can expect tonight. Tonight's theme for the people will showcase Kamala Harris's commitment to fighting for everyday Americans. A new CBS News YouGov poll shows Vice President Kamala Harris goes into this convention with a three-point lead nationally over former President Donald Trump. But she is effectively tied in the battleground states that are likely to decide the race. A running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, laid out this game plan for delegates this morning. We've got 78 days of hard work. We can sleep when we're dead. Not now. Not now. Delegates we spoke with say they can feel the momentum. It's just a dramatic change from four weeks ago. Mike Fowler is a delegate from San Diego. We've seen this, this energy shift, if you will, from nominee to nominee. Have you been able to feel that in California? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, and really, I think the purpose of the um, convention itself is to get that momentum usually started, but they didn't need to start it. It was hot and heavy. Outside the convention center, protests against the war in Gaza are expected all week. Chicago police say there shouldn't be any issues if the protests stay peaceful. We would prefer not to have clashes. We would prefer not to have to make arrests if we don't have to. President Biden is the keynote speaker tonight. Harris accepts her party's nomination later in the week. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Chicago.